everyone, it's Trailer Tuesday! Super excited, it's Trailer Tuesday! <laughs> I gotta dance it out, get it out! I'm Stephanie White here with Pop Culture Renegades with a brand new segment about musicals. I love musicals because I grew up watching them. I loved sitting in the living room, watching them with my grandma, singing the songs with her, and just imagining this world where everyone wore fantastic, coordinated costumes and could dance with each other and solve all their problems through the power of music. I don't really know where I was going with that, because I was lost in time and space and meaning. Speaking of, let's talk about the Rocky Horror Show Picture Remake. So Rocky Horror Picture Show is a 1970s cult classic that actually bombed in theaters when it first came out. Um, but a few years later, people started to appreciate it for its nuances. And since then, it has become something that, if you live in a big city, you could probably see playing on the big screen every week. Uh, they actually have a whole thing where you have shadow casts. They're people who get up on stage dressed in the costumes. They act out the film. The whole audience is part of it. The participation level is, like, way through the roof. One of the best experiences you can have. You can wear your underwear to the theater. I've done it. You don't have to. It would be kind of weird if you're not. Just saying. Underwear dance. Alright, so earlier last week they dropped a picture of Laverne as Frankenfurter and people were up in arms. They either loved it or they hated it. Everyone seemed to have an opinion and the majority of the opinions seemed to be somewhat negative. Um, but they just dropped the trailer and it seems like some people might be changing their minds. I really hope that it actually changes mine. I mean, I actually agree with Laverne as it, but I'm just really kind of... I don't know. I'm apprehensive. I really want them to do a good job, and I really hope that they do. So let's uh, let's watch and see how they did. This Halloween, a cool clap. It's reborn. So dramatic. Hello. Oh. Uh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. oh my god! So easy having a good time. That's all. That's all it was gonna be. That's. It was like nothing and everything, and I don't understand. That was so short, but it was super weird because they introduced a lot of characters um, all at once, kind of like in succession. So you get. Oh, it wants to turn the other thing off. Okay. So you get uh, kind of a feel for a little bit of all the characters. You see Janet, you see Brad, of course you see Frank and Herder. Um, Laverne Cox looks amazing. Um, but it's it's uh, pretty much no information at all. I mean, it is going to be a remake, so I'm assuming they're going to stick pretty close to the script. Um, so far, I like the feel, but I don't really... It doesn't really give me much to go on. I hate it when trailers don't give you much to go on. Not that I want all the spoilers, but you can't spoil a movie that's 40 years old that I've seen 35 times. I mean, maybe, but don't tell me those parts. <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't get to see Tim Curry in the teaser trailer that Fox released. Um, he's actually the criminologist in uh, this remake, and I was really excited to see him. He um, hasn't been around in a while, and uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to save that till the very, very end. Way to keep me coming back, Fox. Fox, release it! I want to see Tim Curry! I'm sexy in my card again. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, um, alright, so I'm Stephanie White signing off for Pop Culture Renegades Musicals Edition. Look forward to seeing you guys next month, right before the Tonys, when we get to talk about Hamilton. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. And until then, I'm going to shiver in anticipation.